What's up guys, it's Peyton and welcome to Peyton James Media. Today we're gonna to be talking about the importance of recording high quality audio for your productions. Just wanna take a moment to thank you guys for watching the channel. Make sure that you comment down below on the future content that you'd like to see, as well as hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notified of future videos. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about the importance of high quality audio. If you're a new content creator or have been doing this for a while, you've probably created content um, using you know, just your camera or your smartphone and recording the audio with the built-in mics that are on that. And I just wanted to show you the difference between using an actual um, microphone setup for your productions uh, compared to just using the built-in mic. Uh, it makes a huge difference and I want you to think about it in the way that you would think about video quality. You wouldn't sit there and watch um, somebody that just had like absolutely terrible video quality where it's hard to uh, focus in on things. Things are just blurry and, and just like there's just all this stuff that didn't matter. It didn't tell the story. So think about that in, in the same terms as, as audio. You want to make sure that you're cutting out that stuff that doesn't actually matter and isn't providing any value any value for you. So that's any like um, stumbles that you may do and, and all the ums and ahs and just long pauses that you have if you're doing like a podcast or a video or something like that. People just aren't going to care. They're going to be turned off by that and they're going to want to go watch something else. So um that is one thing that you can really do to improve your productions. Another thing is to just like think about your audience's perspective. So like in a video, if you're constantly changing the brightness settings and it's just like really hard to watch it, like it's super dark or like, you know, super bright and just hard to, to focus on anything, you know, it, it's just like a bad video. You don't want to watch that. So um, in terms of audio, that could be like your volume if you're super quiet and it's just really quiet. And then you're super loud and you just like are constantly changing volume throughout the production and not balancing it in post, then it's just going to be really hard to listen to, especially if people are listening to you while they're commuting or doing other things. It's just going to be really annoying and they're going to want to find some someone else to watch. So um, just really focus on how you can improve and think about your audience's perspective. Because when you're watching a video, you don't want to have to constantly strain. Like you don't want to strain your eyes to watch something. Um, and with your ears, you're not going to want to constantly fidget with the volume. You're just going to want to listen to it. Another thing I really noticed that content creators do is um, when they're interviewing somebody or they're talking to somebody, they're only miking themselves or they're miking the person that they're talking to and not, not both equally. Um, or it's just like one mic that's set up in the middle of the room. And so they're equally bad, but that even that is better than um, having like really good quality on one person. And the other person is just like, really hard to hear and you know a lot quieter and you're going to constantly have to like really strain to hear them and that's not what you want that's not going to um, be a pleasurable pleasurable listening experience for your audience so you want to really make sure that you're making it even even if it's con consistently not the best um, if it's consistent all the way through that is better than having just really good quality on one person and then just like terrible terrible audio on the other person because uh, if people aren't able to hear your content, then what's the point of uploading it, right? So you want to make sure that there's the clarity there, but also that um, it's just not a constant struggle to figure out what's being said. You, you have that first impression within the first few minutes, um, even the first few seconds, if you're just like, no, this isn't for me, or I can tell this is really bad quality, or you're annoyed by something. Um, it could be this really high production thing, but you're just like annoyed by it. Um, people are going to be turned away and you can have like the best looking video and just have really terrible audio quality. And people are going to be like, absolutely. Not. I am not going to sit there and listen to this. Um, they might leave some nasty comments or whatever. And you just want to be sure that you're, um, you're providing the best that you can, the best listening experience that you can as well as visual experience. And you got to think about it this way. Like a lot of people these days are listening to more podcasts and even YouTube videos while they're doing something else and they're not directly watching what you're doing. So you really want to be sure that you're providing this really clear, crisp, clean audio that is mixed properly so that people can have, you know, a pleasurable listening experience and not be just annoyed by what's going on. They're straining to constantly hear you, um, it's just not going to be good. So like if they have you cranked up and suddenly you're just like way louder than you were and then way quieter, they're going to be mad. Like if you get quieter throughout it, they'll turn it up and then you're just like back to this really high level. That's not good. You don't want that. So uh, just really make sure that you're balancing your audio and that it's really 
crisp and clear sounding um, and that it's going to be even if you have multiple people talking. Um, and I know going, if you're going from location to location, it's going to be harder because, you know, you can't control the environment around you at all times. Um, but having like a consistent microphone or, um, just consistent, like good sounding quality and in post you can, um, make the adjustments that you need to, that the, you know, the actual like quality of the voice is sounding the same and it's not a constant change and just really hard to hear. Uh, you want to make sure that it's it's easy for people to listen to. So if you're going to do it yourself, really pay attention to those things. Um, if not, I really suggest hiring a professional. Um, so if you're batch recording a lot of your videos, you can just have a professional go through and, and clean up your audio, cut out the things that don't need to be there. Um, you know, get rid of get rid of all the extraneous content that you don't need, uh, as well as just be able to really clean up like background noise and also balance all your levels, add music to make it more entertaining, different things like that. Um, there's a reason that there's professionals for that. So they'll be able to work really quickly and effectively, and they'll want to develop an ongoing relationship with you. So if you're producing all this content and you're just like overwhelmed by all that's going on with your audio, then it's, it's really important to hire somebody that actually knows what they're doing, first of all, and is really good at it, but also loves to do it. So it frees you up to do more of what you love to do. So if you're going to hire a professional, I, I really recommend you check out my site, uh, paidenjamesmedia.com and just contact me on the contact form and we can get together and work on a project. If you are planning on doing it yourself, and this is the whole reason I'm starting this channel is to be able to teach content creators like you how to do it yourself, or at least educate you so that you know what you're looking for when you're hiring somebody to do it. So be sure to stay tuned and check out the channel and all future videos and hit that bell icon so that you're notified every time I release something new. Obviously you need to work with what's within your budget, but just taking the time and investing in the sound quality of your productions, you're gonna see how much that actually uh, plays a role in it and you don't have to break the bank to, in order to do that. So um, let's take a look at what it sounds like first on my built-in mic on my camera, then the built-in mic on my laptop, and then the built-in mic on my smartphone, and we'll compare that to how it sounds on my microphone here. All right, so this is how it sounds on my camera, uh, just a built-in mic on my camera. As you can hear, it's, it's definitely a lot noisier. There's all the internal stuff in the camera going on that you can hear as well as all the background noise, and it just doesn't pick up nearly as well because that's not what it's really built for. So. Um, yeah, I have it about arm's length away from me, and it's about the same distance that I have my smartphone, and you can just hear a major difference. It's going to be a lot thinner sounding and just a lot noisier. So I'm in just a slightly different setting, but this is on my MacBook built-in microphone. Um, so you can hear it's a lot noisier. I have the AC running right now, and that's something I wanted to point out is if you have external noise going on, this is how bad it sounds with the noise, especially when you crank it up and try to master and mix things. Um, it's just really, really obnoxious. So you want to be very mindful about what's going on in the background. So now it just shut off. And this is without the AC running. This is just how it sounds normally on a built-in microphone. And you can, as you can see, it's, it's going to be a little bit better um, than the camera or my smartphone but it's still not great. It's not gonna be the best quality, obviously. If that's all you have, go for it. But it's just not gonna pick up the same as a condenser mic like I was using um, and at the beginning of this video. So hopefully this sheds some light on the different sound quality of different microphones that you'd be using and why it's important to invest in a microphone that will really pick up your voice well, especially if you're doing talking head videos like this, like YouTube or podcasting or um, just one-on-one -on -one interviews, whatever you may be doing. Um, especially if you're gonna go record outside, like in the field, you'll definitely wanna invest in uh, the gear for that as well. But but even for these talking head YouTube videos, it's gonna be important that you invest in some sound gear for you to be able to really elevate your production quality, so. All right, so now you can hear how it sounds when you're just running through the built-in mic on your, on your smartphone. Uh, I just have an Android smartphone that I'm using right now, and I have to hold it away from my face so I can get on the camera here. Um, so as you can see, it's definitely thinner sounding, um, just not as present, and I have to definitely project a lot more if I'm going to 
be the same sound quality. It's also going to be a lot of background noise going on because the microphone just doesn't pick up that well. So as you can see, when you're recording audio on your phone, on your camera, on your laptop, whatever it is, it's just going to sound a lot thinner and it's not going to pick up the voice as well. It's not going to be as present and as warm. Um, it's just not going to sound nearly as good. Uh, it's great that you can run and gun and have those features if you need it in a pinch, but um, just really taking the time to invest into your sound production is going to make a world of difference. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified of future videos. And let me know in the comments what kind of content you'd like to see on this channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.